Hi, I'm Dr. Adenaxi, and I'm here to talk to you today about hormone balance in men. And to start with topic, I would like uh, to ask you if you, as a gentleman, have you felt any of the following uh, symptoms? One of them is feeling fatigue and low energy, needing to have a nap after you have your lunch, or you have been feeling that you are not having as good endurance when you are doing your workouts and difficulty developing muscle mass despite having to do so many weights or exercising more, or having stubborn belly fat and man's boobs. As well, if you have been feeling a difficulty reaching an erection or holding long enough an erection, and even worse, if you don't wake up anymore with morning erections, or you have difficulty achieving your orgasm and poor interest in sex, like low libido, or maybe you are lacking concentration and you are having poor motivation and uh, symptoms like from depression or being depressive lately. Well, this topic will be interesting for you because you may have a problem of hormone imbalance related to testosterone deficiency. And here we're gonna address it and try to fix it. Now, what are the factors inducing this uh, hormone imbalance in men due to testosterone deficiency? Well, uh, to start with, uh, testosterone is the predominant sexual hormone in males and is, it is produced predominantly in the testicles. It influences the sperm production the erections, as well as the development of the secondary sexual characters in boys, like the change in the boys and also the hair growth. But not just that, testosterone influences several organs in your body, including the bone, the muscle, the skin, the brain, and the prostate. Of course, besides the testosterone, men also have estrogen in their system. Of course, not as much as women we have, but uh, estrogen is a factor that needs to be on consideration because as a man, you don't want to have neither too little, neither too much, because that could be in problems too. The issue starts when uh, your testosterone concentration starts to decrease. And in very few cases could be because of a testicular injury, but uh, the real problem comes with these modern times that they have several factors inducing hormone uh, issues and uh, distortion in your system. And number one uh, are the petrochemicals. Petrochemicals are uh, in the air. They come from the car exhaust and factories and they act as a hormone disruptors as well as a BPA, BPA and phthalates that they are in uh, personal care products, okay? Number two, we have also the contamination in the food by xenoestrogens, uh, phytoestrogens, I would say, that they are coming from excessive uh, soy protein that is in several products, as well as poor dietary choices when we eat too much processed carbs that they induce a decrease in the free concentration of testosterone, as well as a very poor uh, quantity of healthy fats that they are important for the production for the testosterone and the steroid hormones. And for sure, the contamination by pesticides and antibiotics and uh, injected hormones in non-organic foods, non-organic veggies and meats that we consume and they also affect our hormonal system. And number three, we also have the high level of stress that affects our whole system in general affecting the production of steroid hormones and of course making our hormonal uh, 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 synchronization to be out of sync. But all of these, as I mentioned, they, all, they act as a hormone disruptors and for that reason it's important to know it, that way we can address it and do something about it to avoid this issue with the hormone balance. And next, how do we diagnose a hormone imbalance due to testosterone deficiency? Well, uh, I already mentioned all the picture of the symptoms, and if you suspect there is something going on in your hormone balance, it would be good besides your metabolic panel of labs that everybody should get uh, at least once a year, 
it would be good to check uh, the hormone panel in males and see if there is any deficiencies going on. This is gonna help us to corroborate this is the issue. And the labs that I would recommend, it would be to check the testosterone free and total, as well as the sex hormone binding globulin and dehydrotestosterone. Uh, as well, we need to check the estrogen levels because you need to be sure you don't have very high or too low levels. Uh, we need to check the thyroid panel because also has influence on this system and the adrenal gland panel with a cortisol level, pregnenolone level, and DHEA levels. Uh, for sure, you need to check the hormones from the brain that stimulates the testicles to be sure there's no other under, uh, underlying problem like your luteinizing hormone or LH or your follicular stimulate hormone or FSH as well as the prolactin. And additionally, because it's important for the management of testosterone deficiency to have a prostate level like PSA level and a CBC count or a complete blood count. With these labs, uh, once we have the testosterone level, is that is one is going to help us with the diagnosis. If you have a level of testosterone total less than 200 nanograms over, over deciliter, there's no doubt you have a testosterone deficiency and you need to be treated. Now, when you have a level between 200 and 350 nanograms over deciliters and you have symptoms, this is highly suspicious, it's related to testosterone and it needs to be treated and see the response if there's no other causes. As well as if you have a level between 350 nanograms over deciliter up to 600 nanograms over deciliter, this is a gray area zone, but if there is symptoms, I will consider to treat it and see the response if there's no other causes that you have found out in the workup. How can we prevent or treat hormone imbalance in men due to testosterone deficiency? Well, after I have talked to uh, all these symptoms and clinical picture, maybe you said as a man that you are doing fine and you're healthy, but you would like to do something about preventing testosterone deficiency or maybe you are a man that you fit in the clinical picture and you would like to do something about treating testosterone deficiency. Well, I'm gonna start with these uh, specific interventions that they can help you to prevent or manage testosterone deficiency in general. And one of them is your diet. You need to try to work on a, a healthy fat diet that boosts your production of testosterone, avoid processed food and high carbs, try to focus on a low carb diet because too much carbs induces a decrease on your free testosterone in the blood. And as well, you need to try to avoid uh, dairy because there is a lot of supplementation of estrogens in dairy products and you don't want to get exposed to too much of that. And work on having more organic meats and veggies that they are healthy for you and they have less xenoestrogens. Besides that, you need to work on your gut, uh, try to get a probiotic and increase fiber in your diet because the healthier your gut, you're gonna have a less a reabsorption of estrogens that they are excreted in the gut if you increase the consumption of uh, fiber in your diet. And uh, for sure, you need to take care of your liver because your liver is the big lab that metabolizes hormones. And when your liver doesn't work right, that means high estrogen level in your system, and you don't want that. Remember, alcohol and too much carbs, they damage the liver, they give you fatty liver. For that reason, you need to work on avoiding those two things. And of course, there are some supplements that they can help you with your hormone balance. Uh, one of them is DIM, the indomethane, that is naturally in cruciferous veggies like broccoli and cauliflower. You can take an extra supplementation with 300 milligrams uh, uh, daily and as well vitamin D because vitamin D works in all the cellular processes. We really need to have it well replaced and we don't get enough sunlight as we supposed to. And for sure, if you have all these interventions done, you get tested and you have low testosterone, you should get treatment because testosterone is going to help you to get rid of all those bad symptoms. It's gonna help you in your overall health. And of course, you're gonna feel much better. And why not to check it and feel better? Well, 
Thank you for listening to me and I hope this has been helpful for you. Uh, this is Dr. Elena Axi and blessings to your heart. See you soon. Bye.